and Haggis. And we are just a bunch of nerds and we have another game to go over with you. And uh, this is one of Haggis' personal favorites. Yes! And this is Battle Sheep Flock to Greener Pastures by Blue Orange. With a, with a nickname as Haggis. You know, he's going to have something with sheep. <laughs> Let's just take a look inside here. Very simple rule book. Quick game. Not much well, to learn. It's a game for the youngins. Yeah, Blue Orange, uh, I'm not familiar with the stuff they have in here. It does look like a lot of uh, kids and learning games. Uh. Yam Slam, Peak Poker Hold'em, uh, Ben Domino, and there's on the other side. I guess it's for kids, but this game can get intense. It can, you know, and it is enjoyable. There's strategy to it. And it comes with a sticker. S sticker. And the contents of the game, there are, I believe, 16 pasture tiles, and they're all the same. And so this game is two to four players, so each player would get four pastures. So that would be eight. And the other ones would stay off the side. And then how many tiles are there per color? 16? Yeah, 16 sheep tiles. And so there's blue, white, black, and red. And I mean, they are a very decent quality. It's not a sticker. It's like uh, actually printed right on them, so they're not pe they don't peel off. Except for this one that's chipped. Well, chipping will happen if you're playing, and well, uh, your brother plays red, so yeah. that might explain why here. His it's anger issues. You typically play blue, eh? Yeah, I like blue. Cause I'm weird. Cause blue sheep. And be more the black sheep of the family. Yep. So, just uh, using a couple tiles, we'll give a rundown of the game. So, everyone, each person would take turns putting, they'd make a little pasture. So, we're just going to make a little basic design here, just to show some of the mechanics of the game. And so, each player will start off with their stack of sheep. And we'll just use half for now, because it's a smaller area. And so, we pick a spot on the edge that we're going to go to. And uh, so, this game here, it's got one of those uh, very static how to start, or pick a start player. It's youngest. Um, don't normally, you know, I, I like ones that kind of change, like the last person to do this or yeah, know, something like that. Roll a dice. Or roll a dice. Do it the old fashioned way. Uh, well, I think the old fashioned way was rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Possibly with some lizard spock. Maybe. Uh, so, uh, I'm younger. Yep. So, I would have to go first. So, what you get to do is you can take any number of sheep from your pile, except one. You have to leave one behind. And then you can move it. Now you have pretty much you can move in any direction in a straight line. So let's say I was going to take five here. My options are I could go here, straight line, or here. Oops, dropping them here. I could go up one, or I could go all the way across to here. And so you always leave one behind because what you're trying to do is the end of the game is whoever controls the most pasture uh, hexes wins the game. Now we're going to change, I just want to do a different, to show something. So I'm going to start here. So I'm going to make my move like this. Now there's one other th exception to uh, moving, or rule with moving. It's say you hit to an edge, or you go to another sheep. So in this case here, Haggis is going to move. But I can only go to there because there's a sheep in the way. Exactly. And nope. you can't cross over sheep, even your own sheep, enemy sheep, no crossing over. It's right to the next sheep. And you can't add on to your own, you can't do like, okay, I'm gonna move back to here, you cannot do that. But let's just say, to show something else, so yeah, you go here, goes to the end, so yeah, if I was gonna go, I'm blocked off right here. And he would be blocked here. You could go back and forth like this, because now he has isolated, although I, his sheep is blocked in, he's got all of these for the picking. Uh, to try to, and so part of the game is trying to spread yours out, but since you have a similar, or the exact same amount of sheep, and there are enough tiles for everyone to get point, because there's, with the, uh, yeah, you get 16 squares, 16, 16 sheep. sheep. So you want to try and box them in, something like this. So now his sheep can't move anywhere, so he's going to lose said amount of points. Yeah, so that would be three wasted sheep right there for me, and pretty much the way you the easiest way to count it up is just who, ha how many sheep are doubled up or tripled up on a square. So if I was to move here 
And so yeah, he moved here. You know, you could, you just go around, but you got to keep going. And so now I have no moves, and then he could go one, two, and so he would win. In this case, we started with eight each, and he would have eight. I would have only five squares. And that is how the game is played. So shall we? Uh, Let's do it. Do this up. So we are going to play a full Let's game. Do it. It's a quick game. It only takes. 10 minutes or so, okay, 10 so to 15 minutes, Here's your depending comment. on who you're playing with. No comment. Okay, so I'll play my smite tile. Another thing is, you could place a tile like this and leave a gap. There you go. Yeah, we've had gaps where you'll have like a, a little Peninsula almost. Ooh, fancy words. And this is all gonna fit here. <coughs> yeah, and I am going to place right here. So you have to place on the outer um, part of the pasture. So you wouldn't be able to start on these squares around the centerpiece. I think I'm gonna start here. Okay. First laid, first play. Okay, so I've got my move there. You're up. Uh, without any thinking or math. Go big or go home. See, without any thinking or math. So now he has blocked me in. No, Although, not yet. Well, I, I'm locked into this area. Uh, so, I mean, it's not well, these the worst things for me. Yeah, so these ones are locked in, but there's a lot of room left. And so I could... Well, let's just do that. The thing is, because he's got sheep in that area, I have to use those moves. There's times where I'll have a couple stacked up, but I don't have to use the moves because no one else can impede them, so it's like free moves at the end of the round. And I'll go one right there. Sheep. It's a Scottish man's chess. Exactly. For, when we first heard of it, we were kind of like, okay, skeptical, but uh, your brother bought this for you, was it? Yeah. And uh, so when he opened it up and showed me, I mean, there there is a a heavy amount of strategy to it. You need to make moves. You don't want to box yourself in like you're bordering on right now. I know. So it's guaranteed Ugh. just through right here. You've only got two sheep to fill these three. So there's going to be a guaranteed that some sheep is going to get blocked in. I think I've done buggered it up. Um, I think you got me this one. Unless I can pull <coughs> some tomfoolery. Well, no, you already got one, two, I've got three, four, but only three spots yeah. to use them. Yeah, I got one... One guy's totally pooched. Oh, if I do that, I'm, yeah, I'm pooched. I gotta 
book it down. Oh. Well, and I see, and I'm skeptical about your move that you, that you probably you should have taken this one because that's. Well, if I would have done that, you would have went here, and then I would have lost that stack. You're right. You're right. I didn't. I wouldn't think of that. Um, Dang it! But now here is a situation uh, how I was talking about before. So I'm gonna go here. But even though now he's, I mean, two of these have, are going to be lost. These two moves he doesn't have to take for a while, so they're, they're like free moves that you can do once there's nothing left, and you can continue working with what you have. Yeah. Now he is going for the block. See, he puts in a situation where I gotta block one of mine, but blocking one Once of mine. Not is that bad. I think you're still gonna. Because that would have locked in three, but I have I have isolated one of my own sheep right now. Yeah, I think you're gonna get it because that's basically all my moves. So you get to. So yeah, we got your your free yeah. moves, but okay. So I'm gonna do this. Two sheep to one, so I scored 15 and he scored 14. Yep. And so that is another round of the Haggis Be More Let's Play series. Battle sheep. Flock to greener pastures. Um, overall, I, I'm actually really happy with the game. I, what is the you age? Know, on seven, seven and up. It's, but it is geared towards the young ones. But the thing is, is when you have seven and up, I think you can go younger on that. You, you're looking for something you want to get your kids involved in gaming younger. I'm sure that five or six. Yeah. Well, my daughter played with us last weekend, and she had fun playing with it. When she lost, she got mad and punched me. But but that, I mean, it's and that's what uh, it's important to teach kids to yeah. to lose gracefully we, and win gracefully. Yeah, yeah gracefully. Uh, we well, also played. There was this. I don't know if any other people played, but there was this variant where there was only three of us, but we threw in the fourth sheep army, and each took turn. Were you there when we did that? That was, that was, I started that yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, you came up with it. So, just, everybody takes their turn, and then one person controls the other army, and then we take turns controlling the other army, which throws in a, I yeah, the last that, that was actually, because I won my first two games, and that was my first loss, because I was so focused on what to do with the neutral, that I boxed in like seven of my own sheep. Uh, Cause yeah, it would go, so it would be you, your brother, me, and then I, the white sheep. But I got, because I was third player, I got it first. So it would be you, uh, you, RJ, me, and then me again. Then you, RJ, me, and then RJ would do the white, yep. and then you, RJ, me. And then and I would do the white. Now that was the one flaw, is you had the biggest advantage because you got to move the white sheep and then yours, you could kinda, bounce it off of that, but it did add a different dynamic to it. Mm -hmm. We threw in all the extra tiles. I suppose another way you could play, which um, could really amp it up if you find that you know you want to add a little flair to it, is two players, or three players, mm -hmm. three tiles each. Means that yeah. there are sheep that are going to be boxed in. Yeah. Well, this, this is a way to, if you do the math, you can also flip the thing upside down and, hey, look! A fifth player! Yeah, you could. And I mean... These are the size of poker chips, small poker chips. You could make your own. They, mm -hmm. they, you need ones that are good stackable ones. Yeah. But there are ways to, to up this. These tiles are just not, you know, nothing special. So you could make your own. It's your usual board game cardboard. I don't know if that's on shot or not. Um, one thing I would suggest with these, uh, so if anyone from Blue Orange is watching, is. I think that if you put out the game, if, if I mean, I don't know how sales are going for it, but the, the game I'm thinking of is Dutch Blitz. Dutch Blitz, you have four symbols, four colors, so you play four players. But then they went and said, let's put out a second set of the game. Same symbols, same colors, but the colors and symbols don't match. So now you have eight players. So put out a second version of the game that you can buy that has, uh, I don't know, yellow and, and gray and a few. And so you could then, 
you know, if you bought two sets, you can make this up to eight players with unique sheep colors. That's my favorite sheep, right there. <laughs> I his name's Steve, Steve the sheep. I have no oh, sheep. Trash to join. I have to say uh, this one's my favorite right here. That's Billy Bob Joe sheep. Billy Bob Joe sheep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the same one I picked. Mine's blue, though. I know. Great minds. They to like, and so do ours. Oh. And Carl's. <laughs> well, once again, thank you for watching our Let's Play video of Battle Sheep. And keep, uh, stay tuned for more. Keep coming back. We're always asking to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we thank everyone for the support that we've been receiving over the last few months, even with our lack of production. Um, uh, follow, us yeah, follow us on the Twitter. Yeah, follow us on the Facebook. Twitter. We have Book a group on faces. Facebook. Uh, we do have Instagram, although that we don't use as much. Um, Isn't that Exchangeogram? Exchangeogram? Yeah. Uh, Instagram. Put, you put the pictures and you put them on the line. Yeah, I I, I don't mm -hmm. use it as much because I do most of my picture sharing on Facebook. But as always, um, like, comment, subscribe. We're looking forward to hearing any feedback, anything you want to see. Once again, this is Be More. And this is Haggis. And we're just a bunch of nerds signing off. Bye.